Hey guys, so I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I love this. It's amazing. It's only 10 bucks at the drugstore. I'm going in with the first shade and I'm just going to use this to give a, a base for the shadows I'm going to use in my crease just so they blend out correctly later on. And I'm just using this really cheap sort of fluffy brush off of Wish. And I'm going with a more dense fluffy brush from Wish and I'm going to take the fourth and fifth shades from the same palette and I'm going to put these in my crease and these are going to be my two transition shades. If you're recreating this look, just make sure you blend out these colors really well because they do get kind of dark and you don't want any sort of defining line to be seen in any of the shades. So I'm still blending and I'm also putting this a little in the outer V area as well, but we will be putting a darker shade there later. And now I'm just going in with that first shade we used and diffusing the edges of what we just put down because I don't want a harsh line like I just said. And excuse the wet hair I had just showered. I'm just blending those shades out further. I felt it wasn't diffused enough, so I'm just going back in and diffusing them more. Now I went back in with my other brush with the two shades on it and I'm adding more to the crease because I want it to be darker and richer. blending the edges out again with the first shade and the first brush we went in with. Now I'm going back in with the crease shades and adding more color. It's all about blending and adding more. Now I'm going in with the Tardis Pro palette and I'm going in with the shade Trendy, which is my favorite of the palette. I need this in a single. Um, I'm using the Tarte Magic Wand Set brush that's a flat definer, and I'm packing this onto the lid. Inner corner, almost all the way to the outer corner, but I'm stopping like right when you reach the outer V because we are going to put a darker shade there to smoke it out later. This color has a brown base, and it has like a teal shift or a reflect to it. It is so pretty, especially out in the sunlight, so if you wear this, be sure to go outside and get pictures because it looks amazing. The lighting issue I have does it no justice. I mean, it looks so much better in person. But I'm just going to continue to pack this color all over the lid. And I do bring it above my crease because I have slightly hooded eyes and when I open my eyes you can't see it. But if you have the same issue, bring your lid shade up higher than your crease. That way when you open your eyes, you can still see your color. Now I'm going to pack the color on more with my finger because I feel it does a better job than just a brush alone. See, so you can already tell the difference. Personal preference, I would rather put my shades on with just my finger, but with my nails being longer now, I can't get it as precise as I'd like to, so I do use a brush as well. Still packing it on and now this is where I'm kind of taking it past my crease 
Now I'm going back into the two original shades that we used in our crease and I'm going to apply more to diffuse the edge that our shade Trendy left when I was bringing it up higher. But I will go back and forth multiple times between putting in the crease shades and the lid shade just to make sure it's all even. And here I am adding Trendy again because I feel diffusing the crease lost some of the color. But look how pretty it is. Mm. Now I'm going to go in with Edgy. It is a deeper brown. It's gorgeous. And I'm using this all in the outer V and in the crease just to warm it up a little bit more and make it more smoky. And then I'm going back and forth, back and forth. Windshield wiper motions just to make sure everything is blended out. adding more edgy and now I'm going to go back with trendy and just pat some more on the lid because I feel like I lost more color again and it looks like I'm being so rough on my eyelid but I swear to you guys I'm being so gentle I'm just making sure my inner corner is covered and then I'm bringing it above my crease and now I'm going to take, I don't even know what type of brush this is, it's almost like rectangular shape, but I'm taking that brush and I'm taking punk and this is where I'm putting the darkest color in, the outer V. Just in the outer area, I don't want the whole eye to be black. I do still want the colors of the browns and the kind of reddish tones, the terracotta-y color. So I do put this in the outer V and then bring it up in the crease slightly on the outer part but I don't want this all over. Now I'm going back with our original color and just blending out all the edges. Now I'm going with this weird angled brush and I'm taking the first shade and I'm using that as my brow bone highlight. I wanted a matte highlight because the lid is so shiny. I didn't want to take away from that. And I went off camera, I did the other eye and my tragic eyebrows, <laughs> but I'm just fixing that eye. Now I'm going in with my ye old freaking eyelash curler from Revlon that I've had since I was probably 12. If not younger, I need to get a new one, but just curling my lashes. Sorry, I've got the sniffles. Um, just curling my lashes. I have very long lashes, but they're very sparse. And I wore falsies with this the first time I did it, but I did not this time. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This is a very wet mascara, so I like to do it before I put on my face makeup so I don't get it all over me but I do like it. It's really nice. It gives some good volume and length. It doesn't smell the best though, but I'm just making sure to coat my lashes top and bottom and I have a hard time getting my inner corner lashes and this brush is big so I do struggle a little bit, but I do still like it. And I just remembered I didn't put any bottom mascara on. Oh well, I didn't put bottom mascara on and I didn't use falsies because I need new eyelash glue. If you have any good recommendations for eyelash glue, please let me know down below. I'm currently using the Eyelore lash glue and I hate it. It is terrible. Still putting on mascara. Nope, just kidding. I'm cleaning up the fallout from underneath my eyes. I had some black eyeshadow and some mascara spots. I'm just using a wipe. Good to go. Now I've got all my face makeup on just like that. And now I'm going back in with the same two shades we used in our crease. And I'm putting these on the lower lash line. And there's that beautiful lighting. <laughs> I'm connecting what we did on top to the lower lash line just to make it all cohesive in one piece. You do not have to. I never used to do lower lash eyeshadow for whatever reason, and sometimes I still don't. It's just whatever look you're going for, but sometimes I like to take dark colors and emphasize my under eye bags. I don't know, I just think it looks cool sometimes. I'm doing the same thing on this side. 
making beautiful faces. <laughs> And now I'm going to go back in with edgy and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line as well just to make everything the same. Pretty much the same steps we did on the top lid we're doing on the bottom but I'm not adding trendy. I want the bottom lash line to be matte. Good camera skills, there you go. <laughs> Just blending everything out still. Try not to poke myself in the eyeball with my brush. Good lighting. Look at that Cupid's bow highlight though. Desi and Katie Fuego highlight with Dose of Colors. Yes ma'am. I like that eye better than the other one. <laughs> Now I'm just going in and blending everything out further and then I'm taking Glam and using this as my inner corner highlight. It's a gold but I would say it's more of a champagne gold. It's more cool toned and I think it looks better with the eye uh, lid color than uh, ethereal would have. And now I'm just wiping off the foundation and powder and everything off of my lips to go in with lipstick. This is probably my favorite lipstick I've ever worn in my entire life and it's limited edition and I think it's sold out and that makes me really sad yep get that crisp la lash line lip line come on girl okay here we go this is the dose of colors Desi and Katie liquid lipstick in hot fire this name could not be more perfect for how beautiful this shade is get ready just look at it on the doe foot applicator and the applicator I'm gonna look at it now it has a hole in the middle to hold the product so you don't have to keep dipping back and forth into the tube which I think is awesome it's a really comfortable doe foot applicator and it really helps with getting crisp lines when you're trying to outline your lips if you don't use a lip liner I love this it is so comfortable I have been wearing it for mm, four hours now and I can't even feel it on my lips. It is not smudge proof. It doesn't go completely matte. You can still, yeah, I can still kiss the back of my hand and get some residue, but it's nothing like terrible. It is a matte finish, but it's not drying my lips out. I don't have, I have a little bit of butthole lip, but come on, it's bright orange, you know? but I do love it and I will wear this multiple times like if you want a bright orange fiery red lipstick this is the color dose of colors if all of your liquid lips are like this I'm buying all of them <laughs> um, one thing I struggle with is putting on lipstick because my lips are so uneven so they're gonna look uneven when I'm done on the video but once I finished recording I went and fixed it they are very uneven i have big lips like they're really plump but i don't have a lot of lip you know what i mean like they're not wide so i find it hard to put lipstick on in general and putting it on on camera is even harder but i think that pretty much wraps up the voiceover and i will send y'all to the outro i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I'm just using my lamp. I started recording with the natural light and you couldn't see anything. So I used my lamp. Um, I'll leave all the products I use down below and this lighting is doing this eyeshadow look. No just the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie liquid lipstick in Hot Fire. I wish this was permanent because this Sorry. is why I've been gone so long. I've been dealing with some stuff. I'm ready to get back to recording at least once a week. And I am so excited to get this video up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.